comes the woman that makes you ask are those lash marks or stretch marks are those remnants of lustful pains or varicose veins it's sister sadie safe word seriously that is my intro what i uh said your name right didn't i i will have you know i am 100 percent gray day fresh as a daisy stretch marks I don't see any. I don't see any on these pumpkins. Anyway, enough of that, Cretan. How are my movie-loving maggots? Are you ready for another painful picture to pound your putrid peepers into submission? <laughs> Good to hear, my wormy weirdos. You have pleased your mistress. But do not think that I will go easy on you. I am in a very torturous mood. Slave! Bring me the sack of cinematic sadism. Thank you, slave. You will be thrashed soundly for your loyal service. Let's see what we have today. What in the holy hell? Horn dogs beach party. What what is this? Is is this like a porno or something? Is this even a real movie? It's on tape, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's on tape. I, but look at it. Look at the label. It looks like child wrote this. A movie is a movie is a movie, right? I mean, do you think our audience tunes in for high art? I would hope that they tune in for these babies. The movies are just, how you say, gravy. Whatever helps you sleep at night, sister. Don't make me come over there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to the movie or whatever this is. I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. If it's beach party, perhaps there will be girls in bikinis. Or maybe there will be sand where it doesn't belong. Now that is true torture. I will be back to check on the progress of your torture soon. You know, I went to beach once. There was beautiful sun, happy people, children laughing. I hated it. Come on down to the 10th Annual Horn Dogs Beach Party, located on beautiful Venice Beach, California. And oh boy, do we have all sorts of fun in store for your whole family. Plus, our famous wet t-shirt competition for adults only. This Sunday, don't miss it. Sponsored by the Riverside County JCs.
Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out here by the paddle boats. All right. Yeah, see you in a little bit. This is so awesome that your aunt let us have the corner for the weekend. Well, at least part of it. You know, Auntie Brinky never lets a buck go to waste. Hmm. I really hope the two girls are actually cool. I'm sure they'll be good. It's just, I hope they don't party too hard. When did you become such a buzzkill? Didn't she used to rule the beach party scene? <laughs> that was like 30 years ago. Thanks, man. Good out. Dude, this is gonna be so sick. Look at this. Hey, fellas. Huh. Uh, I guess nobody's here to meet us yet. Let me see. Says if this guy named Dusty isn't here to just get the key from under the doormat. Oh. Here it is. Got it. Not bad. Not bad at all. This will do. Too bad it's only two bedrooms. Yeah, I know. We'll just have to take turns when we got the chicks in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, nice day, ladies. Hi. So you think we can do it? What? Come on, man. Best beach party ever. Hope so. Just about to see what our weekend roommates think. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah just been a long travel. That's true. Those 4 a.m. flights suck. Hey, you need the bathroom? I'm gonna take a shower. Ah, uh, no, I'm cool. Cool. Sweet. Check under the door, my floor key. Okay. They must already have it. Hmm. Maybe they're already down at the beach. Killer 
good view. I can't wait to get down there. I think I hear the shower. I'm going to go pee and change. Shouldn't wait until she's done. It'll be fine. It's a great herb to meet new people. Hello? I hope you don't mind. You just got in and I need to go change. Is that okay? Oh, sure. Thanks. Sure is a nice place here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go change real quick and go down to the beach. You should join us. Sounds like fun. Oops. Sorry. change too. Hello. Hi. On to Brink? Oh, hi, Dusty. Did you and Corey make it okay? Yes, we did. Thank you. Is everything all right? Well, there's a slight issue. Oh no, what's that? We're having to share it with a couple of guys who ran it through Desire Destination. What? I thought I turned those two down. Well, they're here. That doesn't make any sense. I specifically turned down Brad and Tad and accepted Lauren and Stacy so there wouldn't be any boy trouble. Lauren and Stacy are here. Did they bring Brad and Tad with them? If so, I'm really going to be pissed. I told them no more than two for their group. No, there is no Brad and Tad here. Well, that's good. What two boys did Lauren and Stacy bring with them? Just themselves. Well, then I don't see the issue. Hopefully there are a couple of nice girls. No. Lauren and Stacy are the boys. Really? Did Brad and Tad change their names just to get the place? No, no, no. Brad and Ted are nowhere here. Lauren and Stacy are two totally different guys. So instead of Brad and Ted, I accepted two other boys that I thought were girls. Yes. Huh. I wonder why their parents named them like that. <sighs> oh, well. So, is there anything we can... Oh, I'm so sorry. I gotta get going. I'm sure you'll all work it out. Oh, and don't get too crazy there. Bridget still likes to freak out. And call the Neighborhood Association at the first sign of fun. But, you know, she had the nerve to call them a few weeks ago and I had the music up too loud. 
<laughs> it's a good thing she didn't know why I really had it up so loud. I bet her gardener is still smiling. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a great time. Love you. I mean, insanely mad. Hi, I'm Brad, and this is Tad. So, of course you are. You know it, dude. Are you Lauren or Stacy? I'm Dusty. Ooh, dirty name. Cool, bro. Anyway, is Lauren and Stacy here? Just want to tell them no hard feelings on losing the place to them. We got a room just down the street, and was wondering if those two chicks wanted to join us in the Horn Dog Beach Party competition. They are dudes, and not your type. Bro, that sucks. Dude, I know. What's up, bro? Hey, she was so cool, bro. Dude, that chick definitely has some kind of mess of stick up her ass. <sighs> totally, bro. Man, what are we gonna do? Those two chicks have the best spot on the beach, and we can't even use it. I don't know, dude. And what about those two chicks being dudes? I mean, what's up with that? Dude. I think we may have to do something about these two dudes. Like what, bro? Dude, the way I look at it, if we can't have the best spot on the beach for a party, we're gonna make sure these two dudes and this stick of her ass don't win the best beach party. I knew it. They're planning a party. <sighs> totally, bro. Totally, dude. However, they do look very nice. No, I mustn't give in to temptation. I've got to let the Neighborhood Association know. Right, they won't take my calls anymore without proof. Well, if it's proof they want, it's proof they'll get. Dude, what are we going to do about this? I don't know. Um, it's really awkward. Uh, we could make sure we could go talk to them or try to figure out how to make it less awkward. I mean, I guess we could talk to them, but I thought we were just going to have like a dude's party weekend. This was going to be sick. Now we got two chicks here. But I mean, they're not half bad looking, you know. Right? They ain't ugly. No. Mm. Well, we got to do something. I mean, um, they saw me in my underwear, so... It's already kind of awkward. I do think that I am going to go talk to Cory though and try to make amends. <sighs> that would be a good idea. So it's less awkward all weekend. I don't know, man. <sighs> Look, dude, just go, just go talk to her. Uh, you, you don't yeah. have to apologize or anything. Just, just talk to her. Uh, yeah, I mean she's really cute, and I think it would make things better for the weekend. I... This is going to be good for you. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Hi. Okay. Hey. Yeah, um, she's being a little more stubborn than I thought she would be. She's kind of stressed out. It turns out, the two we're sharing the condo with are actually a couple of guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're kind of cute. <sighs> hmm. I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, tell you what. You guys come around three. By that time, it'll be super late, and Dusty just totally has to get along with the party. Shoot. One of the straps on my top ripped. I have to get a new one before the party starts. Well, yes, but I'm trying to start with the top on first. Okay, see you guys around three. Okay, bye. Come in. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I can come back if you'd like. No, it's okay. I just wanted to apologize for what happened in the bathroom earlier today. 
That's so sweet of you. I just don't want you thinking I'm some sort of creep or anything. Let's just say there were a few misunderstandings. Yeah. I'll say. <laughs> so, what makes you boys come out here to Cali? Stacy always wanted to come to this beach party weekend, so I... Oh, you mean the Horton Dog beach party? Uh, yeah. Uh... I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I gotta go. He's going to be fun. Whatever the hell that was. Painful enough for you, my masochistic minions? I don't know about you, but I think this one has left me speechless. No, you know what? Just for that outburst, I think I am going to talk about this movie. First off. Something I'm sure none of you would have any experience with, but this movie has more padding than a bra on prom night. Not to mention the gardener, who is apparently in totally different time zone from everyone else around him that he's talking to. Then we have the male and the female lead, and they have approximately a 20 foot height difference. Step stool, buy one. Then there is this lady who is trying to stop all these frisky frolics, but she is the kind of woman who would never turn down a good time. Trust me, it takes one to know one. And, 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 there. Playing devil's advocate here, I should mention that Uncle Rob, I, I mean, our producer, uh, of this program in conjunction with the award-losing Hollywood studios that provide our top-shelf filmed entertainment require you contractually to say at least one positive thing. Brink Stevens, we are in the presence of true Scream Queen royalty. I bow to her in all of her beauty and glory. See, I knew you had it in you. That chick that are clear. Anything else you want to say? Anything else I have to say? Have you even been watching the movie? In so many ways. In so many ways? What does this even mean, in so many ways? I mean, I was thinking about the film. You went around the corner for another one of those special massages again, didn't you? Yes. The uh, $20 bill was just burning a hole in my pocket. So you leave me alone to suffer with this movie? Well, not totally alone. I think it is time to turn the screws ever tighter on you, my filthy maggots. Roll the rest of the movie. Announcer, you may want to consider pureeling yourself thoroughly. Hey, you do. You alright? Yep. <sighs> oh, come on. Look, I know things got mixed up with the reservation or whatever, but that's not our fault. I know. What? Didn't catch that? I know. I'm sorry about that as well. It's cool. It's just this weekend is not turning out the way I thought it would at all. So, what did you have in mind? I hope it could be all nice and relaxing weekend on the beach. Relaxed? Are you serious? This is like 
One of the biggest college party weekends ever for this area. What? Why would you pick this weekend? I don't know. Hmm. All right. Interesting. What? I think you just wanted to come down here and party all weekend. No, I just... Look, did you know it was going to be like this this weekend? Yes, but that didn't mean anything. But you did know. And you still chose these dates for your weekend. What are you, a psychology major? Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, just finished my first year of grad school. Perfect. Hey, Dusty! Yes? Can you take me swimsuit shopping? Mine just broke. Sure, I'm gonna get a coffee as well. Great! It wouldn't work out here. This part of the beach is shared with a crazy neighborhood lady next door. She will call the association about everything that happened here. Oh, really? So why doesn't she just move? Why does she stay here? Because she loves this beach. This is where she used to spring break herself. Mm. Corey, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Sorry about the act earlier this time. Oh, that's cool. Me too. See ya. Bye. They left. You can come out. So, what happened? Uh, I, I don't know. I was talking to Corey, and she came on to me, and... Dude, alright! And then I freaked out and rushed to the bathroom. What? Really? I rinsed the shower out pretty good. Oh, gross. It was wild. I, I took everything I had just to knock on her door and I hadn't been in a situation like that since Jennifer. Baby steps, man. Baby steps. <sighs> So, what are the odds of hosting a party here? It might actually be a little bit difficult. Apparently their neighbor is a pain in the ass. Why don't we just find somewhere else down the beach? No, 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 no. We said we're going to throw the best beach party ever. We're going to do it. What about Dusty? She seems to hold the key as to whether or not we can have the party here. Don't worry about her. I, I think I can get her on board. I do know that Corey's all on board. <laughs> That's good. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna do about this Bridget chick. What if we just go talk to her? Smart. Then we'll know who we're dealing with. Alright. it to be that hard of a decision? It is a very important decision. Mm. Nah, the first one never quite works out. That's why so many. You should really try some on. I don't know, I'm, I'm just not in the mood. Why? What's the matter? Well, this, this whole weekend is not working out the way I thought it would. It really was kind of a stressful morning. Between Lawrence, Stacy, Auntie Brink isn't much help. And then this Brad and Ted guys come by. Really? Who are they? Just a couple of frat jokes that were in the running for the condo as well. <sighs> nah. Maybe my freshman or sophomore year. Seems like a couple of broke idiots. Mm. You know what? I really think you should try this on. Trust me, it'll make you feel better. Whatever. I think the last semester of college really got the good of you. I mean, 
All these clinical classes and the extra classes kicked your ass. Well, I'm just glad it's over and what I want is just a quiet, nice weekend away from everything. Well, it is definitely away from everything, but I don't think it should be quiet. And I don't think you feel it should be either. I don't know. Well, it's a start, but again, never the first one. Um, here, try this. There we go, the first cracks are starting to show. <laughs> so, what do you think about Lauren and Stacy? Well, I guess they're good guys. I talked to Stacy this morning. Really? What did he say about this morning? Well, we had mutual apologies and understandings. Mm -hmm. How about you? Lauren came in to apologize. He's such a cutie. Oh, I know what that means. Hmm, this one goes to the maybe pile. Getting closer. Mm -hmm. So, are we going to participate on the beach parties tonight? Look, it's not gonna be able to work. We can't risk getting into trouble by the bitchy bridgey and the association. So, what you are saying is that we need to get rid of her. In a sense, yes. At least we have to get her to go along with us having a party. Mm -hmm. At least we have a plenty of other parties to go, even if we can host one. Well, I'm not really giving up hope. Because I kind of invited some people over. What? Um, I may have mentioned to Steph and Becky that we're hosting a party. You did? Yeah. They are going to invite everybody! Probably. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? What am I gonna do? We're going to get into so much trouble and, and the Brinky is not going to have a condo intact. It's gonna be ruined oh, by us. Okay, okay, okay. Calm oh down, it'll be okay. How can you say that? Because anybody who can rock this swimsuit like you do can do anything. Looks perfect. You know what? We're going to host a best horn dog beach party tonight. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy. We have a lot to do. Yeah. Ooh. Did you pick your suit yet? Um. Mm hmm Yep. Isn't that the first one? Yeah. So, let's go. We have a lot of work to do. Okay. So, let me get this straight. You want to invite a few friends over and have a party on my beach. On the beach that we share. You want to have a giant sin party with drinking and drugs and fornications. Uh, I, I wouldn't go that And far. get your fornication juices all over my beach? I think not. And I am warning you. I will be watching and taking notes. So, you go back to your weekend condo and get some sun, maybe splash in the water a little, but you will not be having a party on my beach. Do you understand? Uh. Good day. Any ideas? I'm sure we'll figure something out.
What the hell? Bro, oh, you got him so good. Good throw yourself, dude. Seriously, what the hell was that about? That's for taking our room for the weekend. Yeah, you totally snaked our room pretending to be girls. We didn't pretend anything. Oh, you just stopped right there. Hey, we applied just like everyone else. It's not our fault they mixed up the names. Yeah, well, because of you, we don't have the best spot on the beach to host a party. Yeah, you tell them, bro. We're not gonna be able to have a party either. Yeah, because we're gonna make sure you don't. <sighs> Whatever. Screw you guys. Let's go. Yeah, you go on and hide. Yeah, you tell him, bro. You okay, dude? Uh, yeah, bro. Just think I saw something awesome over there. Hey. Hey, what's the matter with you guys? Starting to think having a party isn't really in the cards anymore. What makes you say that? We tried to talk to Bridget next door. Ooh, it didn't go well, did it? And a couple of jerks started throwing water balloons at us and said it was for taking their room. And we're not going to have a party anymore. What? Were they a couple of frat looking boys that keep saying bra and bro a lot? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like Fred and Ted. Those guys are a couple real douches, by the way. Well, it's time to start thinking positive. Oh, really? Yes, because we are going to host a beach party here. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what brought this about? Well, maybe you were a bit right earlier that you guys came here for a party and it took me a while to realize that I did too. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's awesome! Uh, so, what do we have to do to get ready? Oh, and what are we going to do about your uh, neighbor? I'm not sure about her yet, but I know the first thing we need to do is to find everything we need to decorate. Yes, because we need balloons, booze, tiki torches, booze, hats, booze. Oh wait, I forgot something. Did I mention booze? I suppose I'd better go get my wallet. Um, is he all right? Yeah, uh, he actually just got out of a really serious relationship three years. Um, they were engaged. Hmm. Turns out at the end of our fall semester, he found out that she was cheating on him for the last year. Oh, wow, that is so sad she would do that to him. Yeah, he took it really hard. Almost dropped out of school. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. It's actually pretty amazing he's even on this trip in the first place. He might kind of put up a little bit of a front, so if it seems like he's acting a little bit off, that's why. He's such a sweetie, though. Yeah. Hey, if you can, try to take it easy on him a little bit. Don't rush him into anything. Okay. Okay, ready to go. All right, nice. Yeah, we can just Hey, go ahead. wait, Lauren, you're going with me to the party store. Oh, uh, sure. Can I have your keys? Awesome. Don't worry, she will take a great care of him. Look at them. They're not even trying to hide it. Oh my god. Oh my god! Are, oh, oh! Are you okay? <laughs> Nerds! Nerds! What is this? Seriously? Chocolate milk? You goobers! Oh, don't worry. It does a body good. <laughs> right, <dude? laughs> oh, Yeah, bro. <laughs> This is not funny. No, I it's know. not. I think it's kind of funny. What about you, bro? Oh, let me look. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's even funnier. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> this never gets old. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Oh, whoa, what happened?
happened? Brad and Tad. That's what happened. What is it with those guys? I don't know, but I know what we need to finish it. What? Corey. Yes. What time are Steph and Becky coming over? I told them around three. Give them a call and tell them the party is on, and we need their help for a special situation as soon as possible. All right. I'm going to give them a call right now. Hey, Corey. Yes? You can shower first if you'd like. Thank you. Please do. So what are we going to do? You and I will have to get some supplies. Right, but what about Brad and Tad? Hmm. We are going to have to get some distractions. What? Sorry, man. You're going to have to take one for the team. You just want me to go out there unarmed and just run around taking it? Pretty much, but not unarmed. <laughs> Let it go, bro. It looks awesome, dude. <laughs> oh, nice! What the hell is that Joker doing? Hey, guys. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What the? But wait! It smells like it smells like pickle juice. Oh, screw you guys! Oh, Jesus! Oh, poor boys. Oh, look at him go. Will he be all right? Oh yeah, he'll be fine. He was all college, track and field. We were in the sixteen hundred. Nice. Yeah, that'll be good. Well, looks like the coast is clear. Uh, that is so wrong! Maybe a car wash first? Guys! I got a hold of Becky and Steph and they'll be here in a... Hello? Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I, I, the other two went to go get supplies. Uh, I tried knocking to let you know what was going on. Thanks for letting me know. Okay then. Um, I just have to take a shower when you're done. Okay. Lauren? Uh, yeah. Uh, can you please hand me the shampoo bottle on the counter? Uh, sure. Just head it through the curtain. Oh. Well, now it's time to get you all cleaned up. Uh, I, uh, I haven't been... There. How was that? That was really good.
getting a bit of a late start, ain't you? Oh, uh, it was a bit of a last minute decision. How is the weekend a last minute decision? Well, I don't know, it just turned out that way. But, better late than never, right? <laughs> Party on, man. <laughs> so, where are you hosting at? I'm on to Pink's condo. Oh, the one with the little beach point. Yeah, that's it. Have you been there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Brink and I go way back. Oh, very cool. So it's a nice area? Oh, it's the best. Sweet. Well, she still got that crazy-ass neighbor? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, it's too bad. She's a real ball buster. I wonder what her problem is. Oh, like uh, 15 years ago, she was dating this uh, college frat boy type. He left. She ain't never been the same since. Yeah, she's a real cougar. <laughs> I even tried to get with her. But I guess I'm not her type. Whatever. But she couldn't land anybody after that. Not that year, not the year after. And she got this whole moral authority bug up her ass. And, well, never been the same since. Wait a second. You're telling me if we can just get her laid by some college frat jock? <laughs> bow chicka bow bow! Right on, dude! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, I think so. Alright, that is 11.95. Here. Keep it. Well, seriously? Yeah. You told us exactly what we need to hear. <gasps> awesome. awesome. Thanks. Hey, come on out tonight. All right, man. Boom. See I'll you be tonight. there. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Party down. Mm, 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 mm. on this film. I think it has transcended being a mere motion picture and has emerged from its celluloid cocoon as a full-on sadomasochistic social experiment. What are you on about? No, hear me out. I am not even doing a bit. What kind of sex comedy would provide so precious little sex? There is more shopping than anything, and more talking than my dinner with Andre. And to finish it off, a fully clothed shower scene. And as for sex, not a single thrust. Well played, horn dogs. well played. You have tortured my subjects to levels of submission that I could only imagine. I have to admit, you aren't wrong. Am I ever? Remember when you opened that strip club for cats? Catnips? <laughs> that was genius idea. Cat sexuality is untapped gold mine. It devolved into a hissing, spraying hell within seconds. So it had a few kinks. And who amongst us here doesn't? Anyway, this movie has subjected one and all to unholy levels of torture. I believe we are done here. You are aware the film isn't over, right? Really? No, we haven't even seen that party that they've talked about incessantly. I just assumed this was plot hole. Plot hole? It's the entire point of the story. I, have you seen the rest of the movie? I would not be surprised if the filmmakers just forgot to finish it. Another good point. You know, you're on fire today. Oh, speaking of fire, I have been advised that the following reel of tonight's film may cause burning sensation in the eyes and loss of sensation in the genitalia. These symptoms should persist for only two to four days, uh, but if they continue, then you should contact your primary care physician or call 1-800-CROTCH-ROT.
Anyway, enough of that. Here goes nothing. Roll them, boys! You know, I think this movie is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. And I grew up in Chernobyl. Amazing. You were awesome. I've been needing that so bad. You're such a sweet guy. When are your friends coming again? Um, in a little bit. Maybe we should get dressed. No, there's no rush. Hey, you girls need some water in? <laughs> this is going to be the best one yet, dude. Yeah, bro. They are totally gonna have to leave after this one. It's going to be huge. apologize to the others. Yes, yes, I promise I will. Ew. Ah. <sighs> Ew. <sighs> what? What is it? Do you smell pickles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, now what do we have here? A few more whores. Yes, ma'am. Get it. Steph, hey! Hi! Bro, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Well, where's your bathroom, bro? Please, bro. Uh, right over there. Thanks, bro. Sorry about earlier. Um, we were acting a bit like assholes. 
It's cool, man. We're cool. You okay, dude? Oh, yeah, bro. Actually, I feel pretty refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, any of you two guys into cougars by chance? Not me, dude. I'm into 19 to 25 only. Well, I know I am. <laughs> I'm totally the cougars, man. It's totally my bag, man. Why, you got something in mind? Richie Bridge next door. Yes. Oh, see, I told you, I knew something awesome was happening next door. Hot cougar on the prowl, bro. To each his own. Well, it's been a while for this one, I think, and this cougar is hungry. Oh, no, even better, bro. Well, if you really want to party tonight, you better get over there. Oh, wow. This is good stuff. Oh, my. Well, hello. Hello yourself. <laughs> would you like to come in for some tea? Yes, I would. Do you smell pickles? Um, I love pickles. Don't you? Yes, so do I. <laughs> He's in. Okay, we've got a lot to do. Let's get ready for the party. Now all we have to do is wait for her permission. It's already 5.15. The horn dog beach party starts in less than two hours! Don't worry, it will work. In the meantime, would you like to see my swimsuit? Heck yeah. Let's go. I got a new one too. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yes, here's my swimsuit. Oh, that? I thought you were going to put it on or something. Well, don't you think it looks great as it is right now? I mean, it's cute, but I want to see it on you. Of course. Oh my gosh, what a tease. Hey, okay. I, I need to change. Get out. Really? Yeah. Already? Get out. Really? Yeah. Get out. Well... Come on. 
You know, you're not such a bad guy after all. Sometimes things just get the better. Get the better of us all. Ooh, but good things come to those who repent. Oh, yeah? And you repented very well. I don't know how Tad's gonna pull that off. Bridget really is a bitch, dude. Bitchy Bridget? Yeah. I have no idea. I hope he does. We really need to have this party. What do you think, uh, what do you think's gonna happen if he doesn't? I think we still have a party. If he doesn't. We have to have this party, though. He has got to bang that out now. I don't know what else we're gonna do. You think she could call the cops on us? She has in the past. Yeah. I'm hoping he does though. I mean, this party we've been planning on coming here for a long time. The girls are down. Uh, what do you think's gonna happen? We like, can't not have this party. So hopefully he just bangs her out, comes back over here, and we're set. I, I don't know what we're gonna do if we can't get her on board. Do you actually think he's gonna be able to do it? I hope so. I mean, I don't know. Cougars are crazy, dude. I don't know. If it doesn't work out, I'm still gonna have a party. I don't know what everyone else is gonna be doing. Yeah, man. Want something to drink? Yeah, I need a drink. Swimsuit. I just wanted to apologize for the way I've been acting lately. Uh, it hasn't been very ladylike. It's okay. okay. Well, the reason why I'm here is I heard that there's a beach festival going on tonight, and my new beau and I wanted to see if you wanted to host a beach party. Really? Mm hmm. Don't we? Mm-hmm. Well, we've got to go out and find new swimsuits ourselves. Got to keep my new cub looking fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you tonight. Well, she wants us to host a party! Yes! Oh, oh my God. Yes. Oh, okay, guys, 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 guys. That means we only got like 20 minutes to start setting up, so just grab okay. whatever you can and let's go down to the beach. Alright, let's do it! I realized what I really need is you and a real good time. So toast to all of you! Woo! My old friends and new friends, I love you all! Yeah. Hey, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, after 15 long years, both sides of the beach have been reunited by the lovely horn dog queen, Dusty! <laughs> thank you, my queen. Thank you. And I hope to see you all again next year. Let's party, everyone! Yeah. <laughs>
Thank yeah. you. Looking good, dude. Oh, thanks, bro. What was that? Oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Brad. There, that's better. You gotta teach these cubs early or they'll run right over you. So, uh, what happens after this weekend? I don't know, and I honestly don't want to think about it. I'm just enjoying this perfect weekend. Ooh, so did you really mean that? What? About coming back here next year? Hmm, it depends. Are you coming with? I wouldn't miss it for the world. had reached its height with the fully clothed shower scene. But the sex scene with the door? The whole goddamn screen was just a door! Not to mention the reuse of that hilarious gag from the gross-out diarrhea scene. You idiots must have indigo orbs the size of Venus by now. At least we got our party. Proving yet again, that you have no social life. You call that a party? There were people gathered and- And there was nothing! There was some babes and some boobs, and I mean idiots, I don't mean tits, and they were sitting at a table and nothing. Well, there was- uh... There was people at a table, stock footage notwithstanding. That's not a party? That was a casual get-together, at best. But it was implied that there were alcoholic beverages and snacks. The whole damn party was implied. But Horndog said Dusty saved the day by reuniting the two sides of the beach. That's a real crowd-pleaser, right? Dusty did not do jack shit. That dude bro wang the coog and that's the whole reason the party took place. <coughs> oh. My faithful lapdogs are still here. What do you want? Haven't you had enough torture for one week? Maybe you should throw them a bone. You know, under normal circumstances, I would tell you to shut your stupid cake hole. But I think, considering these circumstances, I would have to agree. Here, take these. Satisfied now? Well, too tough. You will take it and you will like it. That's it for us this week. You know, normally for that little outburst, I would promise that next week I make you suffer even more. But I don't think after a movie like that I can make good on the promise. So I will paraphrase my grandpa Dasad and say. It is by way of cinematic pain that we arrive at pleasure. Or was it rock out with your cock out? Either way, whatever works best for you, roll credits. I'm out this bitch!
We missed the party. I told you we should have taken a ride share. Oh, what are we going to do now? Well, we could have a little beach party of our own, you little mm -hmm. horn dog. Bound to bound, bound. What did that even have to do with anything? Give me that box! 